Coach Z is not that cool. Here comes an email. Dear Strongman, I was at the movies last night, and this little girl behind me wouldn't shut up. Has that ever happened to you? A person called Cooper from the city of Franklin in the state of Tennessee. Told you I could do it. <laughs> oh, I feel you, Cooperim. It's a good thing they make you turn off your bazookas before movies, man. Or every one of my theater-going experiences would end in smoldering crater fashion. The experience starts out promising enough. Good evening, Bontilda. Forty Twan will be on your last. Just you watch the cheat. Someday I'm gonna be the one tearing tickets and telling folks that Forty Twan will be on their last. It begins with the genius who can't resist answering the oh-so-challenging film trivia slides they show before the movie. Ooh, I know this one! The Brat Pack! Pain and Scan! Spencer Tracy! Real impressive, Ebert. We've only seen this slide ten times since we all sat down. If you answered B, you're ready for film school. Or oh, it was ice cold refreshment. I should have known. Be considerate of others. Please turn off your bazookas before the program. Then, once the movie starts, don't forget the guy who insists on rattling off the complete filmographies of each of the actors. But when I returned, the DNA evidence was gone. Oh, and he had a cameo as Steve Adore number two in the prequel. And he was in that car commercial with the wise-cracking transmission, and he has a bacon number of four. And this is my fist! You might remember it from Bloodied Pulp, the amazingly true story of your face in five seconds. He was in Danger Esque 1 and 2. And if you think the guy sitting next to you munching popcorn is bad, try going to a theater where people regularly sneak in their own all-you-can-eat fajitas. What? This was all in my box of milk duds. And that brings me to the little girl behind me who wouldn't shut up. Everyone more, everyone more, everyone more. This is the kind of person that likes to talk to the movie. But not in the usual, don't go in there, or oh no he didn't, type way. He just... Make small talk with the characters. Chit chat. But I figured out their plan. Yeah, I figured I'd just cut up some ice bowl lettuce. Throw some tomatoes on there. Maybe a little Catalina. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. <laughs> oh man, have you ever been to a ground breaking? I mean, what is the point of those things? <laughs> you know where the real money is. Phone books. <laughs> I wonder how you spell Tabasco. Tabasco. What is wrong with you people? Do you not notice the giant movie over here? Where all the locals sit around and suck out loud places closed? Oh, diddle do diddle do diddle do die! So that's why I'm not allowed at the movies anymore. But I don't care. I brought my movie viewing into the digital age. And I dig it all. Check it out. Oh, look out, Mr. Slashy Man! Ooh, something exciting! Oh, I guess I'm talking during the movie! Kind of a hypocrite! I'm gonna shut up now! <laughs> <laughs>